Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Saturday, the 1st of June. Working our way through the prophet Isaiah with McChain, we read chapter 33 today, and he's looking at a restored kingdom and the consequences of judgment and restoration. And uh, God says, those who are far away will hear what I've done. And then in verse 14, we read, the sinners in Zion are terrified. Trembling grips the godless. Who of us can dwell with a consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? And so we have this, this picture of the, the, the godless, the, uh, the sinners can't come into God's presence. They will be overwhelmed. So who comes in? And these are the, the, uh, the people that will be there. Those who walk righteously and speak what is right, who reject gain from extortion and keep their hands from accepting bribes who stop their ears against plots of murder and shut their eyes against contemplating evil. They are the ones who will dwell on the heights, whose refuge will be the mountain fortress. Their bread will be supplied and water will not fail them. And as I read that, I thought that this, this, uh, uh, this picture of the righteous person compared to <laughs> the people that we see around us, particularly coming out of the election, con uh, looking at a whole lot of the political leaders and politicians and how they operate and what they're doing. And one has an, an, an idea that very few of these <laughs> characteristics fit many of them who walk righteously and speak what is right. There's been so much speaking and so much of it is, is tainted, twisted, um, half-truths, um, mis misleading. Uh, it's not been open, honest, transparent conversations. People that reject gain from extortion well, not some, <laughs> and keep their hands from accepting bribes. And it's very easy as we, we read through this list to think just of the political leaders, and there are many that would fall on the wrong side of this list of, of qualities, but it's all the way through society. And while we do have senior politicians that are corrupt, we have people right down at the bottom stopping you at, at, uh, for a traffic inspection and suggesting you might want to give them a little bit of... of uh, 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 a Kentucky to make their day better and it's not only the suggestion it's the number of people that are prepared to to pay the bribe to get out of trouble um, and we need to recognize that what the scripture is saying those people will be terrified when they come into the presence of God we as we walk with Jesus will not be so we take comfort from the fact that, that justice will be, we, be done eventually. In the light of eternity, no injustice will be um, accepted, will get passed. Everything will be accounted for, and only the righteous will stand joyfully in the presence of God, where the bread will be supplied and water will not fail them. That is our future as we walk with Jesus. Hang on to that um, and live righteously in society. Be blessed.